Well, hello, Messiah Church. Happy Friday to you, Pastor Tammy here. So I think we are all well aware that Hurricane Helena came ashore seven days ago and brought with her catastrophic rains and flooding and winds. This is the worst hurricane that has come ashore since Katrina. And there are many pictures and reports and videos from the affected areas that are just absolutely heartbreaking. And they're estimating that over 200 people so far have lost their lives because of this tragic event. But our United Methodist Committee on Relief, we call it UMCOR for short, is already coordinating with United Methodist conferences in the area to support their local relief efforts. Early response teams are already removing debris, they're tarping roofs, and they're cleaning out homes in the hardest hit areas. They have also awarded grant money to several annual conferences in the area to help with these cleanup efforts. Now, many of you have been asking me, what can I do to help? Well, I wanna make a few suggestions of ways that you can help. Well, first of all, we can pray. We can pray for all of those disaster survivors. We can pray for those who have lost beloved family members in this tragic event. We can pray for first responders and the coordinating local authorities. Second, you may want to volunteer. Now they say it's really important that you don't just self-deploy, but you can connect through our Minnesota Annual Conference with our disaster response team. If that's something you'd like to do, let me know. I'll get you connected with somebody. But thirdly, something we can all do is to donate. You can find a link on our Messiah Church website, messiahchurch.org, make a donation there for UMCOR, or you can go directly to UMCOR's website, umcor.org org and make a donation there. You know, every prayer, every gift of service, every monetary donation is going to go a long way to remind our fellow Americans that they are not alone in this really, really difficult time. All right, last Wednesday night, we hosted the Just One event at Messiah Church. It was our suicide prevention event, and there were almost 200 of you there, many Messiah Church youth, many Messiah Church adults. It was an evening with a lot of fun, a lot of laughter, but most importantly, a very great message of hope. I am so grateful for the way you come together as a faith community to sponsor events like this for our wider community. I'm especially thankful to Sammy and our youth and our youth volunteers. They provided such excellent hospitality to all who came through our doors to attend this event. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being that kind of a church. All right, this Sunday, we're gonna wrap up our Created for Connections sermon series with a message titled, Connections with the Larger Church. And this is the perfect Sunday to do that because it is Worldwide Communion Sunday. That means that Christians all over the world are gonna partake in this holy meal, celebrating the Lord's Last Supper that reminds us that Jesus died for our sins, that we are forgiven and we are saved, and that we are one in the body of Christ. You know, even in our diverse and divided world, there is one thing that we all have in common, and that is that Christ died for each one of us and that we are all invited to the same table of the Lord. We're also gonna be receiving new members at both services. We have our second grade communion milestone that'll take place around 1145 following second service. This is for second graders and their families to talk about what communion means. And one of the things I get to do that I love most about being your pastor is to bless your beloved pets and our blessing of the animals at one o'clock under the pergola, rain or shine, this Sunday, October 6th. It is going to be another great day of coming together as the Messiah Church family to worship God and just to celebrate our community. All right, Jack and I are off for our morning walk. I hope you have a beautiful fall weekend, and I also really hope to see you in worship on Sunday, whether you're in person or online. It won't be the same without you. All right, take care. God bless.